What if I told you that the biggest secret to cybersecurity success isn't what you think? Forget about years of experience, expensive certifications, or a natural talent. Those, of course, help, but they're not what truly matters. I've seen complete beginners outperform seasoned pros by following six specific rules. Rules that turned one of our students from zero knowledge to landing their dream role in just nine months. And rule number five, it's the one nobody talks about, but it's transformed more careers than all the certifications combined. Rule number one, hustle. In cybersecurity, opportunities rarely just fall in your lap. You've got to create your own opportunities. And we call this the hustle mentality. So send those LinkedIn messages, make those calls, email potential mentors, don't wait for responses. Follow up. Be persistent. If someone doesn't reply, try again. Call companies directly. Ask for the security team lead. One of our students sent 50 plus connection requests weekly, followed up with calls, network like crazy at events and emailed hiring managers directly. After 49 rejections, her phone lit up with that one yes. That was all she needed. She leads a security team at a Fortune 500 company now. That's the power of hustle, and we have many stories that involve the hustle mentality. But hustle alone isn't enough. In fact, the next rule might seem counterintuitive. Rule number two, don't be afraid to fail. In this field, failure, it's an incredible teacher. As I always say, if you're not failing often enough, you're not trying hard enough. One of our students failed three certification attempts and faced rejection from five job interviews. But instead of giving up, they used each setback to refine their approach. We analyzed their interview performance and he and we strengthened their weaknesses and we improved their interview skills. Six months later, they passed new certifications with flying colors and landed a position at a leading cybersecurity firm. They succeeded precisely because they weren't afraid to fail. Remember, success in cybersecurity isn't about never failing. It's about learning from each setback and coming back stronger. Every no gets you closer to that yes. And while you're embracing failure, you'll face another challenge that brings us to our next rule. Rule number three, and this is really, really important. You have got to ignore the negative people because there will be a lot of them. You'll hear plenty of you can't break into this field. It's too difficult. You can't get into cybersecurity with, you know, without X years of security. You can't succeed without this or that. One of our most successful students was told repeatedly that changing careers at 45 was impossible, not advised. And instead of listening, they channeled that negativity into motivation. They created a study schedule built their skills and proved every doubt wrong. Today, they're leading a security team at a major company. Look, millions of people work in cybersecurity. It's a bit challenging to get in. And it's even more challenging to get in if you are negative and if you think it's impossible. It will be impossible. The negative voices don't define your potential. Let you, their doubt fuel your determination. Turn you can't into, well, you watch me then. Focus on those who challenge you to grow, not those who tell you to quit or that it's not possible. Success is the best response to negativity. Now, once you've pushed through the naysayers, there's one fundamental truth that separates the dreamers from the achievers. And of course, rule number four, obviously, you've got to work hard. It isn't just going to come to you. And some people just expect it to. 
Cybersecurity rewards consistency and dedication. And it requires quite a bit of dedication. But it's not about burning out. It's about sustainability, focused effort. One of our students mapped out a clear system, two hours every morning before work, focusing on hands-on labs and study. No excuses, no days off. They tracked every hour spent learning, every challenge completed. After nine months of consistent effort, they built a robust portfolio of skills and project. And when the opportunity came for a position, they weren't just ready, they were the obvious choice. That's the power of structured, persistent hard work. Put in focused hard work to reap the rewards. But here's where it gets interesting. The next rule, it's the game changer that most people overlook. And that is rule number five, give back. Our field, cybersecurity, thrives on community knowledge. Take Jeff, who runs our Phoenix Mastermind group at Station X. He dedicated his time to helping others navigate their cybersecurity journey, plus many others in cybersecurity have too. Sharing their insights, building a supportive community. And the result, not only has Jeff and others helped countless others succeed, but this week, he landed his first cybersecurity job. So why is this so beneficial? Because giving back doesn't just help others, it deepens your understanding. It builds your network and creates opportunities that you never expected. So it's not entirely altruistic to help others. It ends up helping you as well. So when you explain concepts to others, you master them yourself as well. You have a 90% retention rate when you explain concepts to others. The cybersecurity community also grows stronger when we support each other and the rewards come back in ways you'd never expect. And finally, when you've applied all these rules, there's one last crucial element that brings it all together. And that's rule number six. You've really got to, you've got to trust yourself. The cybersecurity field, it can be overwhelming from complex technical challenges to constantly evolving threats. Self-doubt can creep in easily, imposter syndrome. But here's the truth. Every expert, every expert started as a beginner and nobody knows everything and nobody expects you to know everything. So trust that you can learn, that you can adapt, and that you can grow. That is called the growth mentality. You must believe that that is possible. And some people don't, but many believe that they can. You've got to learn, adapt, and grow. And when I first started in learning tech, I felt you know completely out of my depth. But with each challenge overcome, then trust grows. Your journey will be the same. Trust the process, trust your capacity to learn, and most importantly, trust in yourself. So there you have it. These six rules have guided countless professionals to success in cybersecurity and in other fields too. They're not just theory, they're proven principles that work if you commit to them. The field of cybersecurity, it needs more people like you. We are not in a great situation when it comes to security and cybersecurity. So we need people like you, dedicated, determined, and ready to make an impact. Remember your journey in cybersecurity, it starts now if you want it to. So check out our free cybersecurity career mega pack for all the guides and apps that are free that you need to succeed in cybersecurity. Check out the show notes for more help. And remember, every expert was once a beginner who decided to trust themselves, to do a bit of hustle, to learn from failures, to work hard, to give back, and to push past negativity. And these rules were actually inspired by Arnold Schwarzenegger's famous six rules of success. And I've seen them transform careers 
specifically in cybersecurity, over and over again. If you found value in these insights, hit the subscribe and share this with someone who needs to hear it as well. Drop a comment about which rule resonates most with you. I read every comment and use them to create content that helps you succeed. I also have another recommended lesson somewhere here for you to check out now. Great chatting to you. See you on the next episode of Cybersecurity Diaries.